time off policies can be used for tracking any absence, whether it is paid, defined by law, or even unpaid leave. A policy could be set up so employees build up amounts of leave allocation throughout the year. This is called the accrual policy. For vacation policies, the usage needs to be tracked so a balance can be calculated. Time off policy for employee remote working may only need to track usage with no accrual. Sometimes an employer allows a fixed number of days leave for the whole employment. This is called allocate once. A short-term contract is an example. In this type of policy, there is no accrual and the time off is allocated upfront. You have been asked to set up a vacation policy that allows 24 vacation days per year and accrues the allocation monthly. On January the 1st each year, the allowance must reset, but employees can carry over a maximum of two days. The business has a standard seven-hour working day. Manage the time off policies under settings. Expand the time off heading and click on policies. By default, there will be two policies, vacation and sick day. These can be customized. New policies can also be added, such as business trip, which can be edited and deleted. Settings is where you make changes to a time off policy. Click on Add New Policy. Give the policy an applicable name and description if required. Review the allocate settings. Ensure 24 days are allocated to accrue monthly. Check when the dates are reset. In the next section, select whether calendar settings or work patterns should be used to determine which days are considered working days and will thus count against the employee's allowance. Enter the correct number of default working hours per day and set whether unused time can be carried over. If an employee is, for example, on maternity leave and should not accrue vacation leave during this time, select the maternity leave policy from the do not accrue when taking leave from one of these policies field. Under general settings, you can select what information should show in the calendar. What are employees allowed to do when requesting vacation? Under conditions, you can, for example, set that the employer only allows full vacation days to be requested. Other information, such as what conditions are applied for new starters, minimum time required before the time of start date, and the maximum number of days an employee can add to one leave request, can also be set up under conditions. What options can be changed for vacation allowances? In this example, the employer is awarding employees after five years of service with an additional vacation day. Add another vacation day after 10 years to make it a long service award of two vacation days. Other allowance settings can be changed, such as whether overused negative leave days should be carried over and when should new starters allowances be given. Workflow settings provide more options for approval, for example, allowing requests to be automatically approved and enabling specific approvers for this policy. Additional settings is used to show details of a request as well as make the detail field mandatory or not. 
This is also where you would set up whether the request requires supporting documentation, for example, a doctor's letter. Make sure you save the changes. Assign the required employees to the time of policy and click Save. Sick days is the second policy set up by default. Does this time off policy have an accrual allowance? No, by default, it is a type of policy with no accrual allocation. It just tracks usage, but this can be edited if required. Sick days is also the type of policy that might require additional details or attachments. That is an example of setting up time-off policies.